Okay, y'all, so I've already cleaned off my pork chops and I already set out my seasonings. Do some onion powder, some complete dash original, a little bit of these shallow tonies, some lemon pepper, and black pepper. And y'all, I, I don't like to really put salt on meat. I know some people do, but I don't know why. I just ain't never been no fan of putting salt on meat. Especially not something like this. Um, maybe chicken, but not, not pork chops. So it's really nothing in here. So I'm just pour in what's left and it looks like it's good. Okay. I had a taste for some good homemade slash soul food. To be honest, I really have to have a taste for pork chops because it's really not a meat that I just will eat a lot of. It's not good to eat a lot of pork chops no way, but every now and then, it shouldn't hurt. So these is be seasoned enough for me because once I oh y'all them seasoning trying to get in my nose but once I fry these <coughs> then I'm gonna smother them so. It was four of them this size, and then the rest of them is this size. I'm gonna wash my hands. And this is also, you know, a simple. it's a quick meal quick soul food type of meal it just depends if you like to be in the kitchen but if a lot of you normally cook on what is it New Year's then something like this is definitely a go-to for that and i'm also going to be making some cornbread what else can i show y'all right now um and let me show you all the black eyed peas and my potatoes so these are my black eyed peas some cut up onion and ham i cut up some potatoes for mashed potatoes since I am smothering the pork chops and uh, I'm gonna do some green beans I also have my bell peppers for when I smother the chops and I think that's all on the menu y'all pork chops uh, mashed potatoes 
black eyed peas, cornbread, and green beans. I think that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started whipping up this cornbread. Anybody who use this GC knows it takes an egg, one egg, but I'm using two since I have two boxes. And I thought that I had another honey, but I had two of just the original kind. But just to put y'all on, if you have not tried the Honey Jiffy, it's a must, especially if you make your own uh, honey glaze on top of your cornbread. It goes so well with it.
this is the pan I'm going to use. And so, most of the time, I just kind of add the butter in the pan. And then just make sure that my sides are Breathe. Okay. buttery now if you a person and you're on a diet and you know that type of stuff then you don't have to add butter like I did I'm just telling y'all what's good you know I, I'm definitely not going to lie to y'all and be like, oh, it's good, or y'all try this and try that, and it don't be good. But, of course, the oven on 350, I'm going to go ahead and pop this in here, and when it get out, I will show you all the glaze that I um, put on top of my cornbread sometime. Not all the time, but sometimes. I cannot wait to eat cornbread and black eyed peas, y'all. When I say I haven't made like a good soul food meal in a minute, it's been a minute, y'all. So if you are young and you really don't know how to make homemade mashed potatoes you don't know when they're done it's real simple if you are able to like put your knife through it then it's like kind of like a almost done type of thing but it's still a little bit firm even though i'm sticking my fork in it but you kind of want them soft like even though my fork is going through it, it is letting me know that it's getting to that point, but it's still, you know, too firm though. See, if I'm able to do this, but my fork is going in it, you still wanna cook it a little bit more, but it is halfway through the cooking process. The potatoes is almost done, y'all. So I'm probably gonna go and take those out. Y'all want them too, too mushy. <laughs> Not too mushy. And all I'm doing is putting some flour over these chops. I'm probably gonna have to hold y'all in my hand because I know y'all don't like to miss nothing. So I'm probably gonna have to hold y'all in my hand and show you all me putting them in the grease. So let me do one more. I'm so hungry. Oh, I'm so hungry. My cornbread should be just about done too. Okay, 
Let me hold y'all. So hopefully I will be able to put several in here. Not overcrowded, but you know. I think I can do at least. Oh, well, they all did. So let me do this one. I can at least get four in there. So tell me when the last time y'all have fried pork chops, well, smothered pork chops, or did like a soulful type meal or if y'all even eat pork chops because i know some people don't which i don't care for them it's very I, really i don't even buy them it's very so often that my husband will say you know he wants some pork chops or something like that and i'll get them but yeah we very seldom buy them but when we eat them I make sure they be delicious and, you know, fried to the tea or either smothered to the tea. Okay, y'all. So, all I put was some butter and some Himalayan salt for right now. And... This comes in handy. Just, you know, <laughs> it definitely comes in handy. Instead of using like a regular spoon or something to do it with. So all I do is mash it up first with the butter and a little salt and then I add a little bit of milk to it. And then I might add a little bit of ranch. Not sure yet, but I'll let you all see in a minute. All right, I'm done, y'all. And I tasted it. They are delicious. I don't like runny mashed potatoes. As long as they smooth like this, then that's how I want, you know, how I prefer them. Especially if you adding like a gravy on it you want it kind of thick like this or at least that's how i do mine this is not a no type of recipes or nothing like that y'all it's just me cooking dinner and showing y'all how i do it and what i was cooking so ultimately you know it's just up to you all right so this is our cornbread you see it got a nice little shine to it already but now we are going to make the glaze well at least you know what i put on it sometimes so all you do is i don't measure it but i would say maybe like one fourth of butter and One fourth of butter and maybe like a tablespoon of honey. But honestly, it's it's really up to you. But the glaze is basically butter and honey. So I would just say whatever amount that you feel like, you know, you would want. And you wanna kinda do it while your cornbread is still warm. That way, all that goodness just soaks in it while it's still sitting in the pan. 
so we got our first batch out and I just put in the last two and the only thing I really have to do y'all is cut up my bell peppers and make my gravy and that'll be it so I think once all of that is done so that this video won't be so long I think once I make my gravy up and take those pork chops out and get ready to put it in the gravy then I'll be back um to show you all all right y'all so everything is done it looks so so good there's the cornbread is settled and you can definitely see the moistness and the glaze and the butter so I'm gonna go ahead and fix the plate and then I'll be back to show y'all y'all so got the cornbread peas the bell pepper with the gravy on the mashed potatoes onion and the pork chop so y'all we finna grub all this food thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in the next video